Hey everyone, because this past week we were eclipse chasing and we went to central Arkansas, got a lot of great footage of the solar eclipse there and uh, actually be having a whole bunch of that on my other channel, but you can see a little bit of it here. Uh, anyway, I got a little bit behind and I didn't get the editing done on the video for this week that I was planning to do. And so we're gonna do a sneak peek and take a preview of my next four videos that are all in various stages of completion. I'll just kind of show you the projects that I'm working on and uh, kind of whet your appetite a little bit for what's to come. Anyway, I was planning to have the first video in a two-part series on a new Z-scale switching layout that you can see here that I'm calling the middle manager switching layout. A couple years ago, I built an executive switching layout, which is an N-scale layout that was very easy to build a little bit over four feet long, but if you're a middle manager, you probably don't have quite as much desk space. And so I have built an eight inch by three foot long Z-scale switching layout in the exact same format with the controls built in using one of these Roku hand controllers. So very easy to operate. And you can actually do some pretty effective switching operations in Z-scale. And it's kind of surprising, but it does work really well. So this is a very simple Z-scale switching layout, but I am gonna do some scenery on here. I do plan to have a warehouse structure on the back wall, along with kind of a team track loading dock area uh, on the front track, and just basic ground cover. Uh, very simple, something that will be very easy to keep clean, and hopefully uh, just you know a nice layout to kind of break out on the spur of a moment, do some simple switching operations on your desk, and then you can put it away. So that should be a fun two-part series. And that video will be coming up next week. I've also made a lot of progress on my ON30 uh, layout. This is going to be a mining scene. This layout will be called Big Pine Mine, and it will feature a ore mining scene here set somewhere in Colorado or thereabouts. And uh, tall mountains, some very tall pine trees. I plan to build a two or three foot tall pine tree on it. And so that should be a, a very visually interesting layout. But that's moving along pretty well. And I'll have a second video in this series. The first video was building the base, which I had several weeks ago. This next video here is the basic scenery. We'll do some test runs and then uh, move on to building the structures and doing all the trees and everything else. So that should be a fun series as well going forward. Now, another video I'll have coming up soon is a look at Choo Choo Vision. I bought one of these cameras and this is something that uh, I'm going to compare with one of these little cheap $30 cameras that you can get on Amazon. This one has all the internals on the other end of a long little uh, cable here. And so you can stick this to the front of your locomotive and have this somewhere on another car. So what I plan to do is have this mounted to the front of one of my N-scale locomotives. This will sit in a freight car trailing it. And then I will attach this camera right behind here to that same freight car. And so in this way, I'll have video out of both the front and the back of the locomotive. And I'll be running some switching operations on the N-scale layout here, the two by four foot N-scale layout. And we'll look at the camera and we'll look at how the views are you know, with this setup. And then I actually have a whole operating session video as well using these cameras plus two other cameras. And hopefully that should be a pretty fun video. I've also been collecting more O-Gage equipment. So I have an MTH box car here. I also have two of these really nice Atherin hoppers and these will all be used for operating on the new O-Gage switching layout that I'll be working on here in the coming months as well. And I actually have a tank car and something else coming too, which I can't remember. <laughs> anyway, I already have all the track ready to go. I have all the freight cars I'm going to be using either already here or on their way. And so we'll be looking at those in the coming weeks as well. So yeah, pretty exciting stretch coming up here, I think, in terms of videos. The uh, Z-scale layout, I'll have uh, the first video on that, showing the construction and you know a little simple operating on there. And then a second video, finishing the structures and scenery. And then I'll have two on the ON30 layout coming up. Again, this basic scenery one, and then you know building structures and more final scenery coming up on that. Uh, I'll have a look at those cameras. 
I'll have an operating session of a two by four foot layout and a look at all the equipment for the O gauge layout and the initial construction of that layout as well. So a pretty exciting action packed month and a half or so coming up here, I think on the channel, a lot of interesting videos uh, in various scales. And so it should be a pretty entertaining stretch coming up as we round out the spring season. So anyway, a lot coming up. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe so you don't miss all those great videos coming up here in the coming weeks. But anyway, that's all for now and thanks for watching.